Hello everyone, and I want to talk about the new moon in Leo, and also at the same time we have Mars entering Sagittarius, so we have a change of energy going on on August 2nd, Tuesday. The new moon, in, and I, what I also wanted to uh, bring up was um, the moon. It is um, the it runs on our emotions, and that is the foundation of every reaction we have in, in our life. And that is the best time to do the law of attraction and affirmations and make a wish list. And according to basically the houses that are in your, um, that would correlate with the moon, and I'll get on with that. But the new moon in Leo, basically it's... um. We tend to be in a more optimistic and creative mood. You know, uh, we crave attention, recognition, and affection. It's a melodramatic moon. It's, you know, new moons are beginning, so that's a beautiful thing. Now, if your natal moon is, meaning natal when you were born, and if your moon was like in Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus, you may have feelings of um, self-absorption, jealousy, at this time um now if your moon if your natal moon was in uh at the time of your birth in leo or libra sagittarius aries gemini then you are feeling more generous and your energy level like increases those are the basic um feelings anyway new moons are new beginnings new new phases and chapters as the full moon usually closes and completes um you know the culmination of things so what i love to do usually with new moons and the full moons too i always do a wish list um the best thing is to use the house that your moon is in meaning okay here's, a, here's an example just say your sun sign you're a taurus so this is a new moon in in Leo. For a Taurus sun, this is the best way to do it, is um, that the new moon in Leo would be your fourth house. So you're looking at making affirmations, wishes um, for like fourth house uh, themes, like the home, new, if, wishing for a new home, um, um, permanent endings, family, security, things that basically are the focus of the fourth house. Be this is if you are a Taurus sun. So the Leo moon would be your fourth, fourth house. So that's just a, an easy way of doing it. Make your affirmations. Law of attraction is powerful. I'll probably make a video on the law of attraction because I use it all the time. So that's a great way to focus on you um, on the new moon and try to make your wish list and I hope they all come to um, fruition. Also, we have Mars entering Sagi, which is a total new phase. We're talking about religion, culture, philosophical debates. It's create it's a creative um, power of ideas and power over a whole. Traveling adventure and temptations to do so and um, just flood us with that energy. It's basically the ninth house of um, Sagi, so all that is driving us at the moment. What I'm trying to say also is there is a whole new um, shift of energy, new beginnings, and um, this is the way I make use of um, new moons and full moons. So I hope all your wishes do come to fruition. Try to do that and have a happy new moon. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I would so much appreciate it.